Welcome back to these video tutorials to help you through the Google Level 1 certification exam. In this video, we're going to talk about Scenario 11, which deals with Google Sites. So for Scenario 11, I want you to create a classroom website using Google Sites. You're going to title your website Certification Practice. You're going to create an additional page to this website called Resources. You're going to add a doc to this page. You're going to add me as a contributor. And then you're going to add a quote and a picture to the home page and move the picture to the right of the words. Okay. So to start a new website, you're going to go to your drive and you actually have two options to get to, to sites. You can come up here to the waffle and scroll down until you find the sites icon right here and click on it there. Or you can come up here to the plus sign new. And you'll notice that sites is not listed here, but if you go to more, Sites is right here with that dark purple icon. So I'm going to click on it and open up a brand new site. All right, so from here, the first thing we want to do is give it a title. So I'm going to double click where it says your page title, and we're going to call this Google Certification. Now, this is the title on the web page that people are going to see. We also want to give it a title up here so that we know how it's saved within our Google Drive. All right, so now that that is saved, we've given it a title and a title that it's saved under. We want to add a page to this. So over here on the right, you'll see Insert Pages Themes. We're going to go to Pages. And down here, this plus sign is how you add a new page. So I'm going to click that. And remember, the task says to call this page resources. So now that I've typed that in, all I do is hit done. And you'll notice we have our home page, which is this title page. And then we have this page called resources, and it calls it resources. Now they want us to add a doc to this page. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back to insert. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can come here and you can embed something or attach something from your drive. You can also just double click down here and you'll see this icon comes up. And again, you can embed something or you can attach something from your drive. I'm gonna go ahead and embed a doc. So if you're gonna do that, you need the URL or the web address for that or the code that you might get from that document. So let's just look through my drive and find something. You can also upload something from your computer using this one here. So let's just go to my drive. And then this little window pops out and you're gonna see some of your recent documents. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this document right here. So you click it, it turns blue, and then you hit insert. And you'll notice that it has inserted this Word document into my page. Now, you can size it so that you can see all of it, make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can make it whatever size you want. You can move it around on the page to center it or pull it off to one side. So now we've added this doc to this page called Resources. All right, the next thing is to add me as a contributor. So up here, there's this per little person sign with the plus sign. You're going to click there, and this is how you're going to share this website as a contributor. So again, you click where it says add people, start typing my name, and select me. Now, here you can add me as a, only someone who can see what's already been done, or as an editor, and then you hit send. All right, so now let's go back to our home page. So to get back to the home page, right up here in the top of our website, we can click home, and that brings us back to this home page. And we want to add a quote and a picture to this home page. So I'm going to go ahead and do these layouts right here. This one has a picture and some words. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. To add my picture, I just click on this little plus sign. I can upload one. I can select one that's like a clip art 
through here. I can also search my drive. So if I look on my drive, I can look at all these different pictures that I have. I select it, it turns blue and you hit insert. So I have my picture that I can make bigger or smaller. And I can add a quote, so hello. Hello, welcome to my example website. And then the last task for scenario 11 is to move the picture to the right of the words. So it always sets it up when you use this little layout template to put the picture to the left. So to move it to the right, you literally just have to click it and drag it over here. And you'll notice that those two things have switched sides. Thank you for watching this video tutorial to help you through the level one certification exam. If you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to me via email.